focused, motivated, purpose driven, not leaving nothing on the table. Oh, not at all. Making sure that I wake up, I recall and I remember that I was able to wake up and I was granted another chance. Not forgiving from where I, not forgetting from where I came from and not forgetting the blessings that God has promised me. That's right, you guys. Welcome, family. What's up, familia? What's going on? Today's Friday, March 15, 2024. Halfway point of March. Remember, March is a month where we march forward through any and everything that comes our way. Being guided by God, you guys. Being guided by God. Now, that requires discipline and, res and uh, taking responsibility to be able to enjoy our freedom. Freedom is not pretty. Freedom has a lot of pain. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Hard decisions. Oh, yes, a lot of pain. Ooh, a lot of pain. But in order to have freedom, we need to be responsible and take responsibility for all of our actions. And we have to have discipline as well. If we're disciplined and we take responsibility, then we're able to enjoy the freedom that we're granted. Oh, yes, you guys. Yes. So I hope that you guys have an amazing second half of March. And uh, let's go, champ. Let's go. We got no time to waste, you guys. We had no time to waste. We have no time to waste living in the past angry. And take it in out on others today. We don't have no, no time to waste. Be living in fear and worrying. Instead of living in the moment of now. Where the power is at you guys. Oh yes. Oh yes you guys. Focus. Motivated. Purpose driven. That's right. Now we're going to talk about today about. Creating through our mistakes. And experiences you guys. Oh, yes, creating through our mistakes and our experiences, you guys. Okay. We have to go through this alone, you guys. When we're willing to change and change our life for the better, it's a decision that can only be made by ourselves. And when we're alone, when we're able to be, be, be able to say, you know what, I'm tired of this. I'm sick and tired of this. And I'm going to go ahead and make a change. Then when we're by ourselves, we're able to give ourselves to God. Allow him to guide us and build us and mold us as he sees fit. And then our purpose will be shown it, and it, 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 it will be, it will appear and it will be revealed our purpose, you guys. Oh, yes. And through that motivation, like I said before, we're going we're gonna to make changes and sacrifices that we're going to be willing to do in private. And then when we're celebrated in public, it's because of those sacrifices and changes that we made in private. Oh, yes, you guys. And this is beautiful. Now, don't think that we're just supposed to work a job, pay our bills and pay our car, and work a job to the day that we die and that's it. No, you guys. Think bigger than that. We were created to be conquerors. When God, when God created you and me, he placed greatness with, inside of each and every one of us. We just got to water that seed and let it sprout out like a palm tree. Oh, man. Or how about a bamboo tree? Man, you could plant a bamboo tree of the seeds and you could be watering it for five to six years. And then after five to six years, it just shoots up six feet minimum. But in between those five to six years, what are we doing? Watering and watering and feeding it and feeding it. And we're giving, and we're giving nourishing it with love and power thoughts. That's what we need to do with ourselves. Focus, purpose driven, motivated, game plan, all in, no hordes barred, putting everything on the table, all the cards on the table, deciding to make a decision to live. And when we do that on a daily basis, then God will reveal once again our purpose. Oh, man, and that purpose is not to be an employee, but instead be a boss, be a business owner. And then surround ourselves with like-minded people that have taken their mistakes that we've made in our lives and changed it to our life experiences and share with others, bringing people hope. Oh, man, because guess what? There's a lot of people out there that are suffering, that are afraid to take a chance. Not only that, the little ones of this world, we need to be their role models. Not entertainment, not highly weird, not sports, not dancers, not musicians, not artists. No, we do. Children of the Most High. Now, yes, we're going to go ahead and make mistakes. 
but it's okay. What's not okay is making mistakes and then thinking that we are no good, we're not worthy, that it's impossible, and living in the past and not enjoying the present moment of now. I did that for some time, a couple years, and I wasted a lot of opportunities and blessings that were coming my way. I just reflected them, I deflected them, I, I, did, I didn't allow them to follow me because I wasn't being open-minded. I didn't have an open heart and open mind. What you see now is 11 years in the making where I made my decision in a dark room to turn my will and my ways over to the care of God. Yes, Jesus Christ lives. The great I am, the most high, Emmanuel. So I can live an inspired life. Inspired, translated in spirit. So in spirit and in truth, I'm here to share with you, there's greatness within you. Most definitely. Albert Einstein says, or one of his quotes was, if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing nothing in life. So we got to learn through our mistakes so then we can use it as experience to know how to go to be able to recognize what adjustments we need to make on a daily basis to self-improve every day in every way, be 10% better today than I was yesterday, and smile and take it with stride because we know that we're going to keep going and keep going one step at a time, one inch at a time, one day at a time, one moment at a time, one opportunity at a time, and seize it and keep going and keep going and never give up because we are conquerors, we are victorious, the same God, the same power that God used to create the universes and the galaxies, He used to create us. And the same power is within us, within, within each and every one of us. But it's all about our thoughts and our frame of mind. Our frame of mind. What do you mean, Polo? Are we having weak thoughts or power thoughts? Are we having I can or I can't? thoughts are we having this is hard or i'm going to do it hard thoughts are we having thoughts of giving up or thoughts of being resilient and finding another way you might be have you ever attempted something and it didn't go right the first time hey it doesn't matter at least you attempted it and what did you learn for the next time you're going to attempt it to do it better that's what matters because we are very creative you guys and when we connect to our non-physical version of ourselves Woo, unlimited power filled with opportunities and blessings that come our way. We open up an, a spiritual door or realm to be able to walk through it and create a dream life. So then what happens? Then we surround ourselves with entrepreneurs and dreamers and creators. And then we use our business as a stage to help others, you guys. Because we were created to build wealth with and for God. We were created to make a difference in this world with and for God. And we use our businesses as a stage, once again, to go ahead and help others that are suffering, you guys. Because when we're living in fear, when we're living in the past, when we're living like whatever mistakes we made, that means that we're no good, we're not worthy. That means we're making it about ourselves. And it's not about me. It never has been. And it never will be. It's about being able to use my mistakes my life experiences and creating a legacy an empire to help others in this world and so if i'm thinking okay i'm gonna work a job and they're gonna take care of me don't do and make that mistake they're gonna let you go like that they don't care about you your family your bills your worries no 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 what we need is having more quality of time, freedom of time with our family. Because life is so short, you guys, we're here today and gone today. And being able to own your own business, starting on your spare time, glorifying God and building wealth with and for God, that is the only way to go because it's up to us to shine bright in this dark world. Being there, having the freedom of time to spend the quality of time with your kids, with the older folks, and people in between who we run across and bump into in the street. But most importantly, most importantly, the little ones to set an example of what real men and women of Christ are supposed to be like. And when you're working a job, all we're focused on is work, 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 and build the owner of that business's empire. But what about us? What about our own legacy? 
Because if they can do it, we can do it. And that's what it's really all about. Helping others by first helping ourselves and learning through our mistakes and applying them as life experiences so we could take it to the next level, you guys. Next level. Motivated, focused, purpose-driven. Because with God on our side, we are blessed and unstoppable, you guys. So I invite you, let's go ahead and go create through our mistakes and life experiences to help others. Blessings I send your way. Let's get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go be amazing. Let's go be amazing. Let's go, champs. Be well.